we're standing here at the construction site of Sierra Vista Learning Center, which with the capacity that we have at Sierra Ridge allows us to serve 145 students at St. Olmo. The end of the day, we pick them up at the school, we have a nutritious snack provided through an FDA program, and we begin the post after school uh, lessons. The first step is of course completing the homework of the day. We also include fitness every day. And then we follow up with an enrichment, which could be anywhere from Mega Minds, which is math and science oriented, to how to learn how to do your science fair project. The parents are invited to that. Right now, um, we are only limited by space. We have lots of great ideas. We offer a lot of classes. But unfortunately, because we do have such small capacity, we have to limit the times at which we offer such offerings. So our after-school program takes up the entire building from three to six. With having this learning center, we'll now have the capacity to have a lot of those programs running simultaneously. And as we always provide childcare for adult education, it will now be capable for parents to attend that ESL class while their child's going to after school program. And everybody gets to go home at six and have dinner and spend the rest of the time relaxing. So that's gonna be very exciting. In, in essence, we're gonna be housing the, the majority of the students at St. Elmo. And our goal would be that we would be supporting that school and raising the bar for all of those children by providing not only the after school care, but a, a safe and stable place to live, um, diminishing food insecurities through our food pantry, and providing a direct contact or a direct link to those students that may fall off the radar for the school at 3 o'clock will still be on our radar for the rest of the time. And their parents can receive those resources here that will help improve their socioeconomic status.